everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Lisa here with Angel Love 333. Hope everybody is doing fantastic. We're going to do an uh, unfinished business reading. So this is going to be a reading for all of you where you feel things are unfinished, okay? Whether you're in contact with this person or no contact, um, it could be anybody just that you feel things are unsettled between the two of you. So with that, let's get started. I'm going to start here with the Yin Yang Oracle. Thank you, Spirit. What can you share with the collective about the person they feel they have unfinished business with? I also want to say um, there will be an extended reading link below in the description box and in the comments. In the extended, I will look at the next four weeks energy moving forward from this reading. I'll dive deeper into your person and it kind of gives you some timing okay, around you know communication or actions. So with that, let's see what the energy is here for the person on your mind. Unfinished business. What do you need to know? Okay. Well, the first thing I'm seeing here, either you needed to let this person go or you're being guided here that this person is clinging onto their old ways. So I feel like a lot of you surrendered or you let this person go or you walked away um, because you do have the release card here. And this really talks about surrendering, walking away. Um, and I feel like there was something in this connection that you just really didn't feel good about. Okay, I'm going to say here too, with uh, the South Node and Comfort Zone, some of you have had a hard time, right, walking away from this connection, or you're having a hard time right now letting go of this connection. But this is someone that you have been dealing with, they tend to cling to old ways and they don't want to change. So I feel like it was necessary or it is necessary to let this person you know, go, or if you have been in separation, let them figure out what they need to reflect uh, on because you have shadow work here. This is somebody who needs to do the work. They need to be in a place where they can evaluate their life. They can dig deeper and soul search because this person carries like this void within them. There's a void within them. They don't, this is somebody I feel who probably acts out of their ego or fear because that's their comfort zone. They're not comfortable with change is strongly what I'm getting. Now what's interesting here is you do have the Ace of Fire which talks about passion. It talks about new beginnings and it talks about desire. So, you know, I'm just going to say for some of you, I strongly pick up that this could be not everybody, but some of you, it's a, it's a twin flame connection because it strongly feels like both you and this person. Maybe you both needed time away to work on yourselves. So let's see what else comes through here regarding unfinished business please share with the collective what they need to know regarding unfinished business oh there we go we got divine masculine energy i'll just call out the strong signs like i said some of you this is a twin flame with that four wands energy going to hear from this person got two pages here what's interesting as i feel too some of you there's a new love here too bottom of the deck here you do have the five of wands 
So I really strongly get for the collective here that a lot of you have been struggling with this connection. It definitely shows me that here too. Eight of Swords and the Five of Wands. So some of you have definitely, or many of you have definitely had a hard time breaking free of this connection. Maybe some attempt, some of you have a hard time, you know, where you find yourself thinking a lot about this person and you're not trying to do it. It just happens. And that's part of the twin flame connection here. Now you have temperance, strong Sagittarius energy, and you have the seven of swords. See, it's almost like Definitely, I feel time has gone by. So for many of you, I feel this is a connection where I feel this person has been very avoidant in this connection. Now, that can mean a lot of different things. That could be this person didn't hasn't taken responsibility for maybe something they said or something they did. Can also tell me this person has been very avoidant about their feelings. This uh, Eight of Cups energy, the release energy, is also my emotionally unavailable card. So this could be somebody who has been very avoidant emotionally with you. I'm going to say, and because of that, somebody who is not comfortable in being very open or honest with their feelings. They could have lied. They could have, you know, done things of bad intentions. So I'm going to clarify this Seven of Swords. Tell me more about this Seven of Swords. I'm going to pull one of these cards. Yeah. Tell me more about this Seven of Swords. Yeah, I got a snake here. And I'm also seeing addiction. Now, some of you, this could be somebody who... This card can talk about emotional blocks, and that's what I was just talking about. So this person has emotional blocks, but it also could be this person because of their emotional blocks. Some of you, this could be somebody who is either codependent or they may even have an actual addiction. So because of that, they can come across as somebody who restrains themselves from you. You have the ephemeral uh, energy here, and you also have the snake. I'm going to say for some of you, I do feel like this person could have even had an affair. This could be somebody who was with somebody else. The snake can tell me there's another person around this person. But for some of you, if another person doesn't resonate, could tell me that this person um, just was not honest with you about their intentions, right? Could be somebody who was not looking to have a long-term relationship, was only wanting to have fun, right? And may have avoided really being honest with you about where they were and what they wanted. Okay, and some of you, I feel like this could be somebody who cheated um, or there, there is another person that this person is with. Okay, but not really good energy there. Now, you have here the Page of Pentacles and you have the Nine of Wands. It's interesting because it's almost like it looks like this person is praying. Um, some of you are Cancerians because I did the Cancerian reading and uh this per the person in their reading was they were praying okay praying about you but not everybody is a cancerian maybe you have cancer in your chart but page of pentacles and the nine of wands i'm going to clarify this page of pentacles probably going to clarify both of these energies Tell me more about this Page of Pentacles. Tell me more about this Page of Pentacles. Hmm. So this person, you know, I feel like this page of pentacles, you're going to hear from this person, okay? This is somebody who does have heartfelt feelings with you, 
This is somebody who enjoys their time with you with paradise. It's somebody who they want that honeymoon phase with you. Um, I'm going to clarify this nine of wands. You know, I, I just kind of get here too. There's a message here. So you're going to get some sort of fun message from this person. They want happiness with you. Let's see why the Nine of Wands is here because I feel like mm, looking at your photos. You got faithful and friends first. Somebody I feel who broke your trust. It may be too that this person has trust issues. Okay, I'm getting friend energy too. Some of you, it may not resonate, but this could be somebody who um, wouldn't let you in. So they treated you as a friend. But see, the interesting thing here is that they miss you. So I feel like this person really trusted you, but this person wouldn't fully let you in because they have trust issues because they feel like this was somebody emotionally unavailable. Their walls are up here with this nine of wands. But see, it's like this person doesn't want to give up on this connection. So I have to be honest here, this may be somebody who wants to lean on you as a friend. Somebody that maybe you are one of the fewer pe uh, people in their life that they actually trust. See, you also have here the first blush. So I just definitely got that this person, they're going to come back around. They're going to come back around to you. And maybe that's why this Ace of Fire is here. Because they're going to try and start something up with you again. You know, this is like my Page of Cups energy. So they're going to come back around. So they may be like flirty. They may be somebody who, you know, acts, tries to act very um, affectionate. Okay, yeah, see, look, unlock, unlock happiness. See, they're going to take a chance. They're going to reach out to you. They're going to take a chance on this. You know, because I feel like this person, it talks about being vulnerable. So this may be somebody who's going to start to let their walls down with you. See, and you've got to stay vigilant. See, it does feel like maybe you set boundaries with this person. But I also feel like, too, this person likes to be in control. So they like to be in control of their feelings and their emotions. And maybe how how fast or you know they let their walls down with you. So there's something here about this person learning how to get out of their comfort zone and be more vulnerable with you. But I do feel like you're going to hear from this person in the extended, you know, we'll see, like, you know, what the timing is for that. Because I do feel like right now during this time of distance or separation, this is somebody who's doing their shadow work. They're doing their soul searching. And I feel like, too, it's a time where they're feeling a void because you're not in this person's life. Now, you got the Emperor, and you also have here the Ten of Pentacles. Let's clarify this Ten of Pentacles. I'm going to say the Emperor can be somebody who's very, very successful, uh, you know, in their career, and, you know, or in their money. So this could also tell me that this is somebody who is very diligent about their money, very um, goal-oriented. They could even do well financially. Just going to say, uh, some of you, this could be somebody in a relationship. That's not going to be everybody, so that's only if you know that. Tell me more about this Ten of Pentacles. Tell me more about this Ten of Pentacles. 
Oh, wow. So I said that this person is in reflection mode. Missing you, looking back, soulmates. This is soul connection. This is life partner. This is someone who, after having some time to think and reflect, realizing that you are the one. You are the one. I mean, plain and simple. You are the one that they should have been with. You are the one that you, they should have been with for the long term. You are the one that they trusted here. But they weren't ready. They weren't emotionally available. They couldn't be vulnerable with you. They, they wanted to have fun. They may have even explored other connections. But look, you have the winding road. And the winding road says having a long way to go or taking many detours. So it's been complicated for you and this person. Definitely shows me here it's been very, very complicated. And it took for you and this person to be apart. And I feel what's happening now is this person is trying to find their way back to you. Now, I'm going to clarify this page of cups because so some of you potentially this could be a new love, but it may be the same person. You have the page of cups and you also have here the four of wands. So let's clarify this page of cups. Thank you, Spirit. Why is the Page of Cups here, please? Oh, boy. Got two cards. I want to pull one of these cards as well. Why is the Page of Cups here? Oh, there it is. Okay, so interesting because we have girl with a snake here and this talks about being charmed. Um, and you know, I really just feel here, this is gonna talk about enabling and boundaries, okay? This person's gonna try and charm you. They're gonna be flirty here. You know, the Page of Cups is definitely a flirty energy. This person's gonna try and charm you. They're gonna see, you know, it's almost like with the fish, they're gonna see if you take the bait. Um, or they're going to feel it out. So they're going to do something to try and charm you. So you are being guided here, you know, really set your boundaries with this person. I want to say even feel like this could be somebody who tests your, your boundaries. But you got coming around and the camera. See, they're coming around for another chance with you. This is somebody who is reminiscing its memories, but I'm going to say it, it also talks about learning from the past and looking at things from a different perspective. With this person, I do feel like this could be somebody who is a charmer, could be somebody very charming. Um, but I have to say here, looking back now, they see like, they see you as a life partner. Now, whether they are going to do what it takes to be with you, that is going to be the question. We will see that in the extended, right? What their intentions, which will be part of it. You do have here celebration. So this is happy days. This is somebody, they're going to come back around. They're going to, sh they're going to do something, I feel, here to show you that they appreciate you. Um, but yeah, see right now they're trapped in their thoughts. Yeah. Reflecting here about what happened between the two of you. Yep. And then here comes communication, another, uh, confirmation there. So I think I'm going to take it to the extended. We're going to see how this plays out because they feel like somebody who has had some time to really look back and think about things with you is going to come around. So uh, link is in the comments and the description box. I hope to see you there. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day or evening. And I'm sending you angel love.